Hi everybody and welcome to my shop. Today I'm going to be making something a little bit different. I'm going to be making two sets of team building skis for the field day at the local school. Uh, if you're not familiar with team building skis, they're used by companies to get their teams to work together better. They're also used at scouting events and field days and also children's parties. So let's take a look and I'll show you what I've got. I went out to the home center and I bought four eight foot two by sixes and I also bought 100 feet of this 3 8 inch polypropylene rope. And what I'm going to do is drill holes every 18 inches on the boards and then attach about a 4 foot piece of rope to each hole. And the way these work is you lay the skis onto the ground, five people will stand on the skis and hold the rope and they have to navigate themselves across the field moving in conjunction with each other. Before drilling any holes in my actual boards, I'm using this scrap piece of 2x4 as a test piece. And on the bottom of the skis, I'm going to be tying a knot in the rope so that it won't pull through the hole. So I've decided to drill a 1 inch hole with my Forstner bit, about half an inch deep. And then I'm going to continue that hole with my 3 8 inch Forstner bit. And what that allows me to do is when the player pulls on the rope, the knot will be recessed into the one inch hole and the bottom of the ski will be flush. I will trim the rope off right there. Since the two by six is actually five and a half inches wide, I need to mark the center point at two and three quarters inches at each of my marks at 18 inch increments. I marked the bottom side of the ski, so I'm going to start by drilling the one inch hole first, about half an inch deep. I'm going to use the 3 8 Forstner bit to continue drilling the center of the hole all the way through. And I'm using this backer board to prevent tear out on the other side. All right, I finished drilling the holes in this board, so now I'm cutting the rope into four foot lengths. But before I cut it, I'm wrapping the ends with this black electrical tape to keep the rope from fraying. The black electrical tape also stiffens the rope so that I can feed it through the hole. Now I just need to tie a knot in this end. I've got all the ropes pulled through and I've tied knots on the bottom side of the ski. So for the top end of the rope where the player is going to be holding on to it, I want to create sort of a handle. So what I'm going to do is fold the rope over for about 10 inches or so. And then I'm going to cross it over itself and then come back through the loop like that and pull it and that will create sort of a handle that the player can hold on to while they're moving across the field. On the front end of the ski I'm cutting off the corners so that you can tell that that's the leading edge. both sets of team building skis completed and they turned out really good. I can't wait to see how the kids use them at field day. I wonder how fast they'll scoot across the field on these things. Uh, these skis, they kind of remind me if you remember that old show Romper Room. <laughs> they used to have this toy, it was called Romper Stompers and they were these two little buckets that had cords on them and you would stand on the buckets and hold the cords and you would try to walk across the floor. So it's kind of the same concept as the skis. Um, I'm going to try to get some kids or maybe get some footage from the school, uh, some video or photos of the kids using it so that you can see how they work. Um, I know this is a project that you probably wouldn't build unless you were specifically looking to build some team building skis. So I want to thank you guys for hanging in there and watching and I'll see you next time.